Hello everyone, in this video I will show you our new product. Uh, this is a new version of Switch Terminal Board. We have designed this board uh, based on ESP32. So this board has 36 channel digital input and you can see here have 35 key button. So actually this is a ESP32 keyboard. So you can integrate this board to Home Assistant by ESP Home. And also you can connect with this terminal with your wall switch, just a momentary switch. And also you can connect with your sensor because it's, it's also a digital input module. So you can use it for Home Assistant. And the second, we have designed the firmware of this board. So let you use this board connect with Kinkonis relay controller directly. So such as 32 channel version, relay controller and the 16 channel and 8 channel. But this time you can press by this button on the keyboard and also you can use long distance 1000 meter uh, from this wall switch uh, connect with the extender terminal. And the most important, every key and every wall switch button you can support use single click and double click and hold on three actions. And you can design and program any buttons for what actions will do. Such as you can click uh, one button, uh, turn on relay or turn off relay. And double click, you can de define uh, which relay to on and which relay to off and which relay to target. So that will be very useful. And uh, one button, you can use many different functions for your application. OK, let's look at this board hardware details. OK, let's look at this KC868AK, this board. Uh, this in front and this back because we have installed this shoe so that we can install on the thing rail you can see here we can install on it that will be easy to fix on the power distribution box and we can see here uh, we just this is pcb board then we can see this in front of the side you can see there are many buttons and different button will have different color. So you can install this, change this color by yourself. If you want, just replace this blue and this red one. You can just remove and you can fix on it. That will be easy to install. So you can define uh, which relay one, relay two, relay three, relay four. Just uh, sometimes for different relay, for different function, you can use a different color to define which color and which button to use. That will be easy to remember uh, what function of the relay. So you can see, we can just uh, install this color back to the switch. Okay. And here you can see that is 35 channel of the button. But uh, this terminal have 36 channel for digital input. So this will be for another new input of digital. So you can connect with this terminal and with this momentary switch, just any dry contact momentary switch, connect this uh, key and to this terminal. So that support uh, totally 36 buttons. Okay, this is in front, just the terminal of the switch, and this is the keyboard. And this you can see some free GPIOs, and this is IS232, and this is IS485. So you can connect with your relay controller uh, by this IS232. Or sometimes, such as H32B Pro, you can use this IS485. And here you can see the white socket that is I square C extend. And you can see the version. And here you can see the reset of ESP32 and the download function. And the USB for download firmware. And this is power, power supply, DC 12 volt. And let's look at the size. You can see the size of the PCB board. This is size. Okay, let's look at the back. So you can see so much components on the back side. And this time, you can see we also use the ESP32 module. This is ESP32, and this is power circuit. And this is I2C, 
uh, I/O extend uh, for this input input, and this bird uh, just this back. Okay, let's look at the video demo of this bird controlling relay controller. Okay, let's look at how to use this new switch terminal bird. When you get this bird, you can connect with the controller and connect with the wall switch. You can see here uh, the terminal. I have used this four gun switch, but I have used a demo for K1, K2, K3. So I have total connect with the four one that K1, K2, K3, and the COM, K COM that is ground. And that is for digital input, digital input, and the K COM. And here you can see I have used the IS232 cable, just the three one. So that IXD, TXT, and ground. And also you can use the IS485, uh, you can see it here. And here you can see that is H32B Pro uh, power supply, 12 volts. I have connected together with this switch terminal board, 12 volts, and connect to the power supply. Okay, the first time when you power on, the default setting is every button you can talk in the relay. You can see here, I can talk in relay 1, just press on and press off. Also, you can press this button, that is relay 1. And this relay 2, relay 3, relay 4, relay 5. So you can see here, I can press button seconds and the button third. So you can use this for manual country relay and use this word switch manual country relay and this cable max support 1000 meter so it's enough for your projector to use 1000 meter it's very long distance and also you can see that until this is all on and this is off so all on and off for all relay the default setting, just every button have one click action. There are no, if I double click, there is no function, only one click. So we need to set the board uh, as your needs. You can, we can use a demo. Let's double click this button one for turn on relay one, two, three, and hold on this button that will turn off relay 1, 2, 3. So let's look at how to set up for this switch terminal board. We can use your mobile phone or use your PC's uh, web browser to set for this board because there are ESP32 on the board, so we can use the Wi-Fi function. And if you want to use the Wi-Fi function and configure the website, you need to press this button. That's the download button, just click, you can see. Uh, the blue LED will be on. That means the board enables AP mode that have a hotspot. You can see the blue is one. Now we can open my computer and to connect with the computer by the Wi-Fi to this board. Okay, you can see here how to use the case H six eight AK program keyboard. Let's look at how to use. Just the first step, you can connect to your AP mode. You can use your tablet and you will see this KC868AK that connect to it. Okay, that is connected. After you connected, you just login with this IP address. This is the board, just the default. We can input this IP address and open. You will see this keyboard setting network so you can see the default the web page is long so that you can set uh, which relay controller you have connected so i have chosen the 32 channel you can choose choose other items and this double click time and hold down time 
And this, if you have used the IS485, you can set the mode bus relay controller address and the board rent. And also you can see here, that is index, that means the button 1, button 2, button 3. So you will see this button will until you have 36, because we have 36 terminal board button on the board, just 35. So we can see, we can set for until this way. So you can see here, that's the relay 1 single click, we have talking 1. And the relay 2, this relay 2 have corresponding to the switch button 2 and the switch button 1, uh, switch button 3 and for relay 3. So you can see the default setting is until 32, that is switch 32, talking 32. And you can see the 33, that is all on. So that single click is turn on. 1 to 32 relay and this is 34 that is all off because you can see here that is for off that is for on that is for talking so we can see this demo i want to use this key one for three actions different actions just one click and double click and hold on so that will be very easy set by the web page so if you have see the first just single click, relay one talking. That is already set as default. And now you can see the double click. We want to turn on relay one, relay two, and relay three. So you just input at, at this row, one, two, three. And you can see here, that is hold on. The hold on is relay one, two, relay two, relay three is off. So we just fill these sections. That is one, two, three. That means one, two, three relay. Also, you can use space. You can you can input like this. Also, that means the one, two, three. So, I think this is easy to input for one, two, three. So this key one that will be single click talking relay one and double click turn on relay one, relay two, relay three, and hold on that will be turn off relay one, relay two, relay three. So you just set any key number, uh, key two, key three, key four. Uh, in just input the number. Okay, let's save. You can see, we can press this button, save. And click this, okay, that will, board will be restart. When the board is restart, you will see this green LED is blink. Uh, because it's not easy, easy to see in the camera. This, the first LED, D1, that will be blink. So this board is running. Okay, let's test it after it reboot. You can see here, this button one, I can click that for talking relay one. That is talking relay one, button one. When I double click, you can see the three relay is all on. I can also use hold on. You can see hold on, you can see the relay is off. So these three actions use one button. So I can also use this turn on and turn off. And then double click, uh, three relay is on, and hold on, uh, three relay is off. So I can set this hold on time because the default we have set to one second, so you can change it to five seconds or ten seconds, any second. So yeah, so that you can define every these buttons with different actions and with one click, double click, and hold on. So this is the switch terminal board uh, for the programmable function and for the H32B Pro and for King Connect's really controller. Thanks for watching.